Meantime, Robbinsdale could become the next city to put in new restrictions on tobacco. As Delane Cleveland reports, some Robbinsdale residents are gaining support for proposals aimed at making tobacco less accessible to youth. Step into any store that sells tobacco and you'll find everything from cigarettes to chew to cigars. Robbinsdale smoke shop cashier Raid Azim says business is booming. We're doing really good. A lot of people like it around here and they start to come more and more. But in addition to the traditional products, you're bound to find tobacco flavored with things like blueberry, grape and honey that will appeal to nearly anyone's taste buds. Unfortunately, most of young people like flavors with tobacco. It's a fact not lost on longtime resident Kate Richards. They're really tempted, you know, with these candy flavors, um, cotton candy, grape, um, chocolate, all sorts of things. They really market it to look like candy as well. She is now leading an effort to restrict the exposure of flavored tobacco products to young people in Robbinsdale. It needs to not be in their face so much, and it needs to be less attainable price points, too. Richardson has started a group called Robbinsdale Residents for Tobacco-Free Youth. They're proposing four changes to the city's ordinance setting the minimum price of cigars to $2.60, restricting the sale of candy-flavored tobacco to adult-only shops, restricting the display and sale of drug and tobacco paraphernalia to adult-only shops, and raising the legal tobacco sales age from 18 to 21, which follows the lead of Edina and, in a few weeks, St. Louis Park. We have the evidence to show that when you do change certain things, that the youth use does decline dramatically. Whether they accomplish their goals remains to be seen, but the employees at the smoke shop say they wouldn't mind an age restriction. 18 is still too young to to able to smoke cigarette, and I really wish if they can extend it to the 21. In Robbinsdale, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. The next Wednesday, the Robbinsdale City Council will discuss whether to enact the minimum price on cigars to mirror restrictions in surrounding cities.